All right, I'm going to give a quick introduction here to Adobe Spark. We're going to be looking at Spark Post. And we're going to do something really, really simple. But first off, when you launch Spark Post, it's going to ask you how you want to log in. If you have an Adobe ID, you can sign in using your Adobe ID. Otherwise, um, I just like to log in with Facebook. It makes it really simple. All right, let's say open very very simple process now I've already logged in before this way so it's gonna tell me that I've already previously logged in that's okay the first time you log in it may ask for some permissions go ahead and say okay I want to show you just quickly how easy it is to create something in spark post so when you first log in you're just gonna see all kinds of, of templates and things that you can use I prefer to just create my own thing so as you can see I've got a lot of my own my own posts here I'm just gonna hit the little plus symbol here in the middle and I'm gonna create a solid color there's a lot that we can do with this but I'm just gonna use a solid color and for just kicks and giggles we'll grab this green and I'll say next now it's going to ask us what kind of a post we're trying to create and obviously you've got all your different social media uh, things, your social media profiles, you've got standard sizes in here. There's all kinds of different sizes that you can do. Um, I typically am on Instagram so I'm going to choose that and say done. And once again we're just creating a very very simple uh, quote graphic. So I, I've already copied the text I want to put in here otherwise you can type out what you want to say but I'm just going to paste my text in here and this was an excerpt from uh, Chip Gaines new book but the quote I'm using actually comes from a movie called We Bought a Zoo Let me go ahead and say done and now we can start editing uh, what the font actually looks like I typically use uh, be this new we can jump over to the style and use the style wheel if we want to it will automatically change up you know you can see you can get all different types of styles just by spinning the little wheel around uh, typically what I do is go into um, actually we'll go into color I'm gonna change the font black I'm gonna go into the font um, I want to get back over here to be this new I like that um, I want some space between uh, between the lines so if we go over here to spacing you can change what the spacing looks like um, once again we can just kind of drag this out and you'll notice that things change dynamically as you're moving th you're moving the text around as you're changing the size of the text box uh, everything will just dynamically change for you so that's great uh, now I want to actually put in who the quote was by. I, I like this. We can go over to the shape and, and you can actually create um, different shapes. You can like put a drop shadow if you want to. I tend to just leave it flat. Kind of like that look. Um, now when once you tap off of any of the elements that you've placed on here, we can actually add um, you know, either add a text, add a photo, add a logo to it. I'm going to go ahead and add in more text and we're going to type in uh, Benjamin Me and we'll say character, character, is that how you spell that? Um, character and we bought a zoo. There we go. Now we can place that where we want it. And as you can see, it does actually bump into the center. It gives us a little center line there. And there we go. We're done. We've got a nice little co uh, quote that we can now drop out on our Instagram account. And that is one of the reasons why I love using Spark Post is I can quickly create a quote graphic like this in just well, a few seconds. It works really well. Uh, that is it for today. I will be doing some more tutorials. 
d deep diving a little bit more into the power of Adobe Spark Post here in the near future. So check back often. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.